Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about Alita Battle Angel. Uh, yeah, I know we haven't talked about Alita in quite some time because there hasn't really been any news on the sequel front, uh, and uh, you know we're long since past the Alita versus Captain Marvel stupidity. But I had some folks reach out to me on Twitter and in email asking me to give a shout out to a campaign that's trying to get Alita released back into theaters. Now, we know that uh, they are re-releasing -re older movies into theaters all over the country because, you know, Hollywood hasn't been producing anything new. A lot of the uh, movies that were supposed to come out this, uh, this summer, this fall, have been pushed back to either the very end of the year or to next year. Uh, 2020 has been a bust for movies, but, you know, maybe, maybe a uh, criminally overlooked movie like Alita can get a, a second wind if it is released to theaters now. Uh, Alita was a fantastic adaptation of the manga and anime. It probably is the best uh, live action anime or manga movie that's been produced to date. And uh, it would be awesome. It would be very awesome to see it re-released in the theaters. So beginning tomorrow, we're gonna talk about this, the Alita Army would like you to petition to have this movie re-released. Now, uh, my apologies, I've been a little busy. We're trying to get the studio, the new studio set up. We need some wall decorations or or something, but uh, we're just gonna do this tonight. We've got a bunch of news for tomorrow. Um, it has not been a slow news day, but we got a lot of things going on here, but I definitely wanted to make sure that I, I hopped on and, and gave these guys a shout out. Uh, they've been very persistent, and I think, hopefully, their persistence will be rewarded. This is coming from Cinema Blend. Uh, the next Alita Battle Angel Twitter campaign is aiming to bring the film back to theaters. The Alita Army ever vigilant in trying to do all they can to make sure a sequel to 2019's Alita Battle Angel is brought forth have come up with their latest social media campaign to raise the profile of this would-be cult classic that's gathering steam. After supporting the movie's recent run on HBO and HBO Max, some members in the ranks of this fan base have hatched a brand new idea to put Alita back on the map. It's all focused on bringing the film back to Cinemark theaters before 2020 is over. Much like previous campaigns that saw fans flooding Twitter with messages of encouragement for Alita Battle Angel's potential sequel to find a new home, yeah, Disney's, it's not going anywhere, Disney, guys. It's just not. You're going to have to find another, uh, another company, I think. A brand new quest is brewing that'll take place on October 1st. The particular details about this new social media exercise can be found below. Coming from Foxfire... Hashtag Alita sequel. Hashtag Alita Army. Please share this flyer far and wide. We need all hands. The trending event will go down on October 1st at 7 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Use hashtag re-release Alita and tag at Cinemark. Check this time zone tool if you're unsure about your time zone. Uh, they're trying to get it back into Cinemark. Uh, the nuts and bolts of this particular scenario are, are as follows. On next Thursday, October 1st, that would be tomorrow, fans are encouraged to tweet their message of encouragement, encouraged to tweet their messages of encouragement directly to Cinemark Theater's Twitter handle using the hashtag re-release Alita. The goal is to see if the chain will bring back Robert Rodriguez's hard-earned sci-fi adventure uh, onto the screens by the end of the year. The exact timing for the tweet is 7 a.m. Pacific. Uh, of course, the purpose of a theatrical re-release for Alita is to make sure that the sequel popularly popularly referred to as Alita Fallen Angel has a better chance of becoming a reality. Yeah, they did set this one up for a sequel. Absolutely. They wanted to do multiple Alita films and uh, hopefully they at least do one or two more and hopefully they don't suck. <laughs> the thinking behind this entire exercise is if Alita's first cinematic adventure returned to big screens all over, audience members who missed out the first time would be able to enjoy the ride as was initially intended. Yeah, and Captain Marvel... Uh, was a total buzzkill. And the media tried very, very hard to destroy Alita, and it didn't work. Um, with enough of a jump in attendance, Disney or maybe Paramount might be motivated to get the gears turning for the second installment that folks are hoping for. I think, actually, Warner Media might be a more likely candidate, especially since it was on HBO Max. Uh, that's just me. That's just me. Um, yeah, so this is this is really interesting. Would you go see Alita Battle Angel in theaters of Richard? Sure, I'll go. I'll go see it. Yeah, totally. Totally. So there you go, guys. 
Use that hashtag on Thursday the 1st. Try to get Alita back in the theaters. Now, uh, I know that at Disney Springs anyway, AMC, they are running some classic movies. They had Akira. We were there last week, and I was surprised to see Akira, an Akira poster in Disney Springs. I was like, God, I would love to see Akira on the big screen. I've never seen it on the big screen, but we had a lot to do, and uh, going to see a movie wasn't really top of our priorities. They also have Close Encounters, so... Uh, maybe, you know, maybe we can get Alita back into theaters. You know, what's interesting about this whole thing, and, uh, you know, Empire Strikes Back's doing really well, too. What's interesting about this whole re-release thing is that uh, people are finally able to see a lot of classic movies the way they were meant to be seen, you know, on the big screen. And uh, I almost feel like we're being forced to kind of stop and take in what's already been created instead of going from new thing to new thing to new thing. A lot of people haven't seen Alita, uh, which is criminal because the movie is is absolutely fantastic. And, um, you know, hopefully this will give it a much needed boost. Hopefully we'll get a sequel out of it. Uh, you know, here's keeping our fingers crossed. Good luck, Alita Army. Clownfish TV supports you. We'll talk later.